Designing a scroll saw pattern using the Apple iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. This is a reference photo of the wolf we're going to start with and uh, here is my iPad Pro 10.5 with the Apple Pencil. I use a program on the uh, iPad called Procreate and it allows me to do a time lapse as I'm doing the drawing of the uh, pattern and that's what you're seeing here. Okay I've created the uh, illustration in Procreate on the iPad and now I've exported it out to an uh, image that I can actually put into CorelDRAW. And I'm in CorelDRAW now and I'm just getting started with the arrowhead that I'm going to use and I've also got a wolf footprint that I'm going to add to the pattern so I'm getting that ready also. Now I'm going to import the photograph that I saved from the iPad and it comes in as a bitmap so we need to convert it to a vector and that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Tracing it as clip art and using the automatic trace function of CorelDRAW and there I have my sketch converted to a vector so I can get rid of the bitmap. Now it's just a matter of getting everything sized the way I want. I'm going to go ahead and center the arrowhead back up on the screen and uh, just work on getting things uh, moved into the location I want and getting everything sized right. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to copy a couple of nodes here and move them over a little bit just to make the width of the top of that arrowhead a little bit wider uh, so I can get the wolf centered right where I want it. Resize him just a little bit. Now I can take the wolf paw print, resize and rotate it to the way I want it on the pattern. And I'm going to add a couple of bars across the uh, top of the arrowhead that kind of look like uh, lacing on the arrowhead. So I've got the first one drawn. Just shaping it a little bit and I'm going to move it up some and I'm going to duplicate that and move the duplicate up so I've got everything that I want drawn on the pattern uh, ready to go I'm going to copy the arrowhead over now I'm going to uh, subtract all the drawing from the arrowhead so I have my pattern move it out of the way. Now here's the uh, backer board that I'm going to use and I'm going to use the contour tool to add a tenth of an inch uh, outside of that uh, backer board so it'll be just a little larger than the uh, actual arrowhead pattern. So now there's my backer board. I'm going to change it to gray, create another page for the uh, arrowhead pattern, move it back over and now I'm ready to go out into the shop and start cutting. And here is the uh, final project that was cut from the uh, pattern created on the iPad Pro and edited in CorelDRAW on the Windows PC.